Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today's video is my top favorite Easter projects I've made on my channel since I started it in 2021. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So for this first project, I have one of those long planks. They come like six in a bag or something like that from Dollar Tree. And I'm using some orange paint. Um, I am so sorry. I don't know a lot of these colors because, I mean, these were some of my first videos. So, um, but I do paint this plaque or plank and then I go over it with some white chalk paint because it was just a little too bright for my liking. Now I have this little piece I think it comes in the garden section it's one of those fairy pieces and anyway I cut out this decal using my Cricut and I just add it to this plank and I wanted to paint the back of it because it will show depending on where I place it. And then I took some beads and put them on the back and attached it to that fairy garden piece. Now I'm taking some of those styrofoam eggs and some of the small carrots and I'm just hot gluing them into place. It says hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. I think it's super adorable. Let me know what you guys think. For this next project I have one of those fuzzy white cloths from the automotive section and one of the wooden bunnies. I am using my hot glue gun. I'm going all around the outside of the bunny and I'm attaching the white cloth to it. Then I cut it down as much as I can and I'm hot gluing it to the back of the bunny. And then I'm just going to look at how cute he is. So I have that little bunny tail. It's a clip. So I just clipped it to his bottom and kind of hot glued it into place. And I'm going to hot glue the back too, just for added security. Now I have this floral ring. Um, that stuff is really hard to cut. I remember that. But anyway, I just cut a piece off of the whole wreath and then I'm cutting it in half and I am going to use that to poke my florals in once I finally get it cut through. I don't know why I'm showing you guys all of this, but... Anyhow, I do get it apart. There we go. And now I'm taking part of this wreath form and I'm just hot gluing it in between these two pieces of foam, taking some floral wire and tying it together for added security. Now I have some of this boxwood. I believe it came from Walmart, but I may be wrong. And anyways, I'm just going to hot glue some pieces together. And then I take a variety of lilacs from the Dollar Tree and add those to the greenery. And then I'm taking my bunny and I'm hot gluing it to the wreath form. And then I'll finish adding the florals. Then I take some of the Spanish moss and I put it on the bottom to help kind of disguise the um, the green floral foam stuff. Then I just take a small piece of ribbon for the hanger and I make a couple of bows and she's so sweet. Let me know what you think. Then I got this really big cone from Hobby Lobby. I painted it yellow at first, didn't like it, went back over it with white. Then I had this huge garland also from Hobby Lobby. 
and I just cut all the pieces off and I am just wrapping them all around this tree. I absolutely love this tree. So then I'm taking some fairy lights and I take the battery pack, measure out what I need to cut out and I cut out the piece of foam from the bottom and just stuff the battery pack up inside. And then I'm just going to wrap the fairy lights all the way around this tree. And I absolutely love the way this came out, especially when the lights are on and it's a little dark in your, in your house. So here it is. Now there is some flashing involved. I apologize. There you go. And that's it. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Now I'm taking my moss chalk paint and one of those truffle or trifle bowls from Dollar Tree. Once I get it painted, I'm just adding a bunch of floral foam and then I have this little piece of wood I just painted white. Put that aside for later. Now I'm taking this moss and I am going to fluff it out and make sure that all of the foam is covered. Then I take one of my colored Sharpies and uh, you'll have to forgive me. I can't remember what I wrote on this, to be honest with you. Um, something clever, you know, I'm sure. But anyways, <laughs> I just hot glued a piece of a dowel onto, or one of those skewers actually from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just painting it white, um, so that it kind of blends in with the sign itself. And I add it to the foam. Then I'm just taking the carrots and placing them into the bowl and I'll be adding some of the uh, styrofoam eggs as well. Once that's done I'm just going to take a piece of jute and make a little tiny bow to put on my sign and then I am going to take some more of that jute and like the thicker jute that I get from Amazon, I'll have it linked in my description box in the Amazon storefront. And I'm going all the way around this bowl with that jute. And then I take one of the bows that I absolutely love. They're, it's a burlap bow from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to stick one of them right on the front of this bowl. And I believe that's it. Yes, it is. See, eggs, 25 cents, carrots. Oh, no, eggs, 5 cents, carrots, 25. Okay, let me know what you guys think of that one. So now I have one of these containers from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to put some floral foam in there. And then I have all of these beautiful flowers, all these white flowers from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to just start filling this container with all the flowers. And then I add some of the moss and look how pretty that is. Now I have these bunny ears and the little bunny butt and I stick the bunny ears in some or I stick some skewers in the bunny ears and I'm going to add those to the little bucket and clip the bunny tail on the front. How stinking cute is this? I love it. Let me know what you think. Now I have one of these long signs from the Dollar Tree and I'm just taking that metal heart off and I flip it over. I do cover it, cover the back in the end. I'm painting it with the white Waverly chalk paint and then I have these round wooden pieces I believe I got from BB Crafts and I have these decals that I cut out using my Cricut. So I'm going to add the decals to the circles and yeah. 
And then I also have this decal that I put on top. It says think. And then I have all of the circles, which will spell out spring. But first, apparently, I'm taking some elephant chalk paint. And I'm going over this entire thing to kind of distress it a little bit. And then I'm going to hot glue all of the circles into place. And now I am adding a hanger using just some jute twine, um, hot glue it on the back. And now I am going to take some of that packing paper or craft paper from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut a piece out and I'm going to hot glue it to the back of the sign. And then I will cut out just a small piece for the hanger to poke out so that I can hang it. <laughs> and then I just take a couple pieces of um, a pick of flowers. I don't even know. I think they might be from Dollar Tree. And I'm just adding those to the bottom of this sign. And that's it. I think it's stinking cute. Um, it was, you know, when I first started. So I think it came out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. This one is so simple. It's one of those three piece hanging like wall decor pieces. I took the hanger off. I'm adding some of the uh, tumbling tower blocks to the back of these pieces. And that's it for this project. I just wanted to have them as shelf sitters instead of having them hang. And I think it's adorable that way. But let me know what you guys think. Again, I was just starting out. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> so now I have one of those um, decor pieces. It's kind of hollow. And I just pulled the little hanger off the back. And I'm going to paint it all white and put it aside to dry. And now I'm taking these three wooden crosses. And I am going to use my antique wax on all three of them. I also did some little square blocks and then I took that decor piece and I'm doing a dry brushing with the antique wax. Then I take those square blocks and I'm going to stack them. I believe I do two high. Then I'm going to take the crosses and figure out the placement on the crosses. Then I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm going to glue them together. I then flip them over and add the square blocks to the back. Then I am going to oh i put a decal on it says he is risen i cut that out using my cricut and then some of it wasn't sticking that well so i just used my glue stick to glue it down then i'm going to hot glue the crosses right into place Once that's done, I just took my hot glue gun, went around the base, and just added some of that moss, um, and then gave it a nice little haircut. And good grief, is that stuff messy. <laughs> I use it as little as possible now. Then I took some of that lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I just laid it over the center one. And I absolutely love this piece. Let me know what you think. Now I have one of these wooden bamboo cutting boards from the Dollar Tree and I cut out what is supposed to be a crown of thorns. Now, it kind of looks like it but you'll have to let me know what you think. Um, again, just starting out. So 
Um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, um, I just cut off the excess of the decal. And then I found this beautiful cross on uh, Cricut Design Space. I'm not going to lie, it was really difficult to get out. It was difficult to weed. It, it just was difficult, but so worth it in the end. Um, I have since learned that you flip it upside down and peel the back off first. I mean, instead of the front works so much easier. But anyway, uh, once I got it all off, I'm just going to add it right to the center of this cutting board. And then I am going to take forever to get it off the cutting board. <laughs> I'm not going to put you through that. And with the magic of YouTube, it is done. <laughs> So now I'm just kind of going over everything, make sure it's down, and then I'm going to use my Mat Mod Podge and go over the entire piece to keep everything from lifting up. And look at how beautiful that is. I love this one so, so much. Let me know what you think. Now I have one of those um, easel chalkboard pieces and then just one of these wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just taking all of the wrapping off and I am going to paint all of the wood with the white Waverly chalk paint. Once I got that done, I have this other decal that I got off of Cricut Design Space that I am going to add to this white uh, wood piece. Then I'm going to take that wood piece and I'm going to add it to the chalkboard. And that's just an, a neat way of uh, getting it to stand up. But anyways... <laughs> So then I'm taking more of that uh, lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I just wrapped a small piece around the top of the sign and then I am taking some of that purple, I think it's it might be yarn, it might be baker's twine. I'm not really sure. I wrapped it around quite a few times and then tied it to the back of the picture. And then I'm going to take a smaller piece of that same ribbon or twine or yarn, whatever it is. And I am going to take one of these little crosses and I'm going to hang it from the top part of the picture and I think this came out so stinking cute you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of this one but it says silly rabbit Easter is for Jesus how cute oh my goodness I absolutely love this let me know what you guys think of this one for this next project I have one of these coffee signs. This one is so easy, guys. Um, a calendar and one of the small, like really mini picture frames, but it's just a clip. So I cut out one of the sayings from the back of the calendar, one of the little square pieces. And then I took the back of this picture and I just covered it with the elephant chalk paint. Then I am taking a piece of just white, I believe, um, cardstock, and it's just to cover the back of the picture that I totally destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> so that's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to, there's like little like nail things in these pictures so be careful when you're taking them apart 
And then I'm just hot gluing this back into the frame with the gray on the top. And then I'm gonna hot glue this little picture frame inside. And I already have the little picture hot glued, in, or not hot glued, clipped in there. So then I'm just going to take some greenery and I am going to hot glue it to the top over the picture frame and then one of my favorite little bows. And I believe that's all there is. Yeah, that's it simple but super sweet. I think it's adorable. Let me know what you think. Now this next one, I don't know that it's so much Easter, but it's very important to me and I wanted to include it. So I have one of those pictures, it said out of office or something. Um, so I'm scraping all the words off and then I will clean it up good. And then I have um, some of this paper I got from Hobby Lobby and it just has musical notes on it. And just be careful when you're using this because I ended up putting it in the wrong way like I cut it the wrong way and it just I, I ended up having to redo it so anyway <laughs> oh lordy so I have this um piece of a song that I uh, cut out using my Cricut um and it's go rest high on that mountain and I know it's supposed to say son, but I changed it to dad. Your work on earth is done. This is a song. So I get, I still get choked up. This is a song that we played at my dad's funeral back in 1997. <laughs> and it still gets me. So because it was not going to show up with the busyness of the paper. I um, just mixed some paint and painted over where the lettering was, is, and I am just going to hot glue the paper into place. And then I do the same with the like the cardboard backing from this picture. Then I am taking one of the laser cut crosses and I'm adding that to one of the corners. I believe I end up with this side, but honestly, I don't remember. And I ended up giving this to my brother because he really loved it. So I'll end up making myself one more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to get me this emotional. But anyway, pull yourself together, Tammy. So I'm taking this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going around the outside on three sides. Obviously, can't put it on the bottom or it's not going to stand up. So um, I went around the two sides and the top. And then I took another piece and I just put it around or across the bottom part of this picture. Now I added a bow on the bottom, but I did end up taking it off, but here it is. It's so, so special to my heart. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know what you guys think. So now I'm taking another bamboo cutting board and some of this burlap and lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to wrap it around 
the cutting board. Um, I guess, I don't know, depending on how you hold it vertically, the long way, let's go the long way. And then I'm going to do the same thing across the short side of the cutting board. It'll all make sense in a minute. <laughs> I promise. So I'm attempting to make a cross in case you haven't figured at least that part out. <laughs> so what I decide to do is to take some jute and I'm going to run it through the cross. And at first, I, I don't know what I was thinking doing it like this, but it all comes together, I promise. <laughs> So I take, I end up taking it into a, yeah, like a crisscross instead of just the long way and then the short way, if that makes any sense at all. I don't know. So then I have these paper flowers from Hobby Lobby. They're in the wedding section. They're beautiful. And I just added that to the center of this cross. And then I take some of the white Waverly chalk paint and I just, I know I should have done this prior to, but I didn't. So here we are. Um, but I just go over it just to kind of give it a little more character, if you will. And I think it came out so beautiful. So I'm taking a little piece of the twine and I'm just going to use that as the hanger and that's it I absolutely love this one let me know what you think now I have this egg shaped form from the Dollar Tree and this glitter this pink glitter ribbon I got from Michaels it was 90% off it's gorgeous, but man, oh man, is it messy with all the glitter. <laughs> but in the end, so worth it. So I go around this entire wreath form with this ribbon. And then I make a flat piece on the top, if that makes sense. And yes, yeah, see, I need my little ladybug because man did this make a mess <laughs> so there it is it's beautiful so I'm going to take another one of those uh, bunnies and another one of the cloths from the automotive section and I'm going to wrap it around the bunny like I did with the previous um DIY. And then once that's done, I'm going to hot glue my little bunny to the ribbon on the egg. I, this came out so wait until you see how this comes out like the finished product. It's gorgeous if I do say so myself. So now I have these um bunny tails they're supposed to be snowballs um but I just hot glued one to his little bunny butt <laughs> and then I'm taking this ribbon and some white twine and I'm just going to make a bow and then of course I cover the twine because that's what I do <laughs> So then I take the bow and I hot glue it to the top, but kind of off to the side a little bit. And of course, I dovetail the ends. And then I flip it over and just take some more of that white twine or cotton yarn, whatever it is. And I am going to use that to make a hanger. And I take just a small piece of the ribbon to kind of reinforce it. 
Now I have all these beautiful pieces from Totally Dazzle. Um, I will have them linked down below. And I just took one of their rose gold pieces and placed it on her head. And I love this. How gorgeous is this thing? Oh, absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think. So now I have this egg and the bunny and the smaller egg. I got them from Woodpecker's Crafts. I am an affiliate. I will have my link down below if you want to go check them out. They have some gorgeous pieces. So I used a blue. I used my white chalk paint and I used my antique wax. And now I'm using some of my um, Arteza gel pens to uh, color in the face. And then I'm going to hot glue the small egg to the big bunny and then the small bunny to the big egg. <laughs> That makes sense, right? And then I have, I, yeah, I just kind of distress everything a little bit. Not too, too much. Didn't want to make it too crazy. But now I have these little um, carrots and bunnies. And there's a, some words. It says Happy Easter. I got them from Hobby Lobby, I believe. So I am just uh, coloring them in using my Arteza paint pens. Um, I love all of their stuff. Their pens and markers and gel pens and oh, I just, I love Arteza stuff. But anyway, um, so I am taking um, the little carrots as you can see I'm putting them next to the bunnies and then these little eggs are very intricate so I took the gel pens and started painting them or coloring them and then I did the same with the little happy Easter words so I'm hot gluing the carrots next to the bunny and I'm going to put that happy Easter word right on top of the bunny And then, what do I do now? I am fixing his ears, apparently, or her ears. And then I'm going to take the Happy Easter. Oh, I did two of them. That's right. And I put one on the egg, the big egg. And then I'm going to add the smaller eggs as well. Boy, oh boy. Boy, that's a lot of explaining when I could have just let you watch, right? <laughs> Anyhow, then I'm going to take some of the tumbling tower blocks and I am just going to hot glue them to the back so that they will stand up and look lovely on a shelf. And yeah, I do take some antique wax just to let them blend in. But here they are, how adorable are these things i think they're so cute let me know what you guys think okay now i have these candle holders and these plastic eggs from the dollar tree so i put them together the eggs together and i use this jute that I got from Amazon. I absolutely love this stuff. And I wrapped all three of these plastic eggs with that jute. And yes, it took me quite a while, but well worth it in the end. Then I'm taking some of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go around the center of all three of these eggs. Then I'm going to take some of the super glue as well as some hot glue and I'm going to glue the eggs to the top of 
the candlesticks. Then I take some more of that ribbon and I'm just going to make a bow for the larger of the three eggs. And that's it for these. I love these so, so much. Let me know what you think. Now I have one of these white eggs from the Dollar Tree, the wooden white eggs. Um, and one of the wagon wheel wreath forms. So I kind of tied it to the wreath form and then I'm just going to hot glue it and add some of the ribbon just to kind of reinforce it. Now I have these flower coasters that my sweet friend Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World sent me um, last year, I believe. And I'm going to take them and uh, just make some sort of design with them. <laughs> So I did end up giving it a coat of the plaster chalk paint from Waverly and then I went around the edges with some antique wax and then I'm just going to hot glue these little flower coasters into place. Then I have this Easter ribbon and it's not wired that I remember. Um, but anyway, so I am just, I believe I'm going to do a double bow here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I do. I do a double bow here. So I just uh, do the same awareness ribbon, scrunch it in the center, blah, blah, blah. You know. And then I'm dovetailing the ends and then I kind of hot glue them into place so they don't like flop all over the place and cover the um, coasters. Okay, I see what I did. <laughs> I probably should have watched this before I did the um, voiceover, but that's two different ribbons. So there you go. So now I'm taking this hanger that was already on something and I'm just hot gluing it to the top and then I apparently had a little bow on it so I'm using the little bow um, on the top and there it is. I think it's so stinking cute, so easy. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, now I have this um, pizza pan and these pieces of um, garden edging. I apologize, my dogs are playing. They're really not killing each other, I promise. But anyways, so I'm going to take some hot glue and some super glue, and I glue this garden steak thing to <laughs> the pizza pan and then I'm taking some um, zip ties and I held it together that way okay Whew. I'm getting distracted by these dogs so anyways I'm taking some of this Tim Holtz paper from uh, hobby. No, I got it on Amazon. And then I have these wooden eggs that I got from Woodpecker's Crafts. And I just did some decoupaging. And I like the way they came out. They don't like match up or anything. I just, they, it basically looks like the paper was thrown on it because it basically was. Anyway, so now I have some of this eucalyptus uh, garland. Um, I believe I got it um, at Hobby Lobby, maybe. And then some boxwood that I'm just kind of throwing in there to kind of bulk it up. 
And then I'm going to take some of these pink flowers I believe I got from Walmart. And these little um, bunnies that I got from the Target dollar spot. And I'm hot gluing them to the base of the pizza pan and then throwing some more of that uh, boxwood in there to hide everything. And then I'm just placing the little eggs inside. I think this is so adorable, you guys. Now, I wasn't sure about this blue flower. There is blue in the paper. So I thought it would be okay. And when I did post this video, I got lots of responses saying that the blue works. So I did end up leaving the blue in there. Um, I think it works. I think it looks really pretty and it just kind of bulks it up a little more. But there you go. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. I wanted to let you guys know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you would like to support my channel. But either way, stop on by my social media and say hi. I'd love to hear from you. For this next one, I'm using that same Tim Holtz uh, paper and I am going to cover these three eggs. Now let me just tell you if you're using this Tim Holtz paper you probably should paint your piece with like some white paint or even the um, plaster just something light so that it will help the paper to pop. That's my public service announcement. Now I have one of these white bunnies and I use some of my terracotta paint for this project. I love that stuff. It's folk art. Um, I will link the color if I can find it in my description box. Um, but it's, I love that paint. So then I'm going to take these eggs and I'm just going to add them to the bottom of my little bunny. And then I have the Happy Easter words um, from Hobby Lobby again. And then I am taking the paintbrush that I used to paint the bunny and just going around the eggs just to give it a little something on the edge. And then I have this bag of bows that I got from Amazon and I am just trying to pick out the one that I think will look best for my little bunny here. And then I am going to take some white, nope, some plaster chalk paint and I am going to go around the edge of this bunny and she's so pretty I love her let me know what you guys think now I have this big white egg from Dollar Tree sorry if you can hear Julian he's purring And he's very loud. So anyways, I am taking some of my Mod Podge and I am placing some of this tissue paper that I got from Dollar Tree on top of the egg. And then once it's dry, I'm taking my finger sander going around to get all the excess uh, paper off. And then I have this carrot, which I believe came from Woodpecker's Crafts. And I am using my terracotta paint for that as well. And then some of the flowers and leaves from Dollar Tree, the laser cutouts. And I'm going to use those on the top, as you can see there. Oh, and I do end up painting the flowers and the leaves to kind of go with the colors in the paper. 
and I do use that terracotta paint as you can probably see right there. If you guys ever see it, grab it. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. I don't know if it's the texture or if it's just the colors, but I love everything about it. <laughs> And then once I got everything glued into place, I am just going to flip it over and use some jute to add a hanger. And that's it. I think it's so pretty. Let me know what you guys think. Now I have this um, bunny that it has glitter all over it. It came off of one of the Dollar Tree signs. So I am taking some of that Tim Holtz paper and I am covering it. <laughs> and then I have two of the little gate hanger things from Dollar Tree. And again, I used the terracotta paint for this, covered the whole thing, and then I'm gonna glue the two pieces together. While that's drying, I am just going around the bunny to get all of the excess paper off. And then I'm gonna hot glue the bunny right in the center. So it kind of covers where the two pieces meet. Um, and then I am taking some more of those tiny eggs and I'm not gonna put you guys through watching all of it but there you go. Um, it took forever to paint that or to color them in, but I got it done. So now I'm just going to add them to the bottom of the fence on both sides of the bunny. And then lastly, I'm just putting the little burlap bow that was on him back on. And that's it. Look at how stinking adorable this is. Let me know what you guys think of this one. For this next project, I have some rocks from outside. Some of those moss covered rocks from the dollar spot at Target one of the oh i forget what it's called like the bowl thing i got from dollar tree and then some of this spanish moss i added the rocks and one of those clay terracotta pots and then i found this huge rock um out, well it's not huge but <laughs> it's bigger than the other rocks um from outside and it looks like it would be big enough to cover a tomb. There you go, that's what I'm making. So I added some of those um, moss covered rocks and then I found some of the flatter rocks that I had to make a walkway. And then I put that aside and took this piece um, this like plank thing from the Dollar Tree. I used ooh, antique wax and then some white chalk paint to distress it. And then I made this little sign that I added to the back of the terracotta paint. I mean, the terracotta <laughs> pot, not the paint. I've been talking about the paint so much, but here it is. Look at how gorgeous this is. I absolutely love it. He is not here. He is risen. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I love it. Now I'm taking five wooden crosses and I am covering them in the Waverly Antique Wax. And then I have the word risen and I'm going to take one letter and put it in the center of each of the crosses. Then I'm going to take some of my 
um, I don't know. I think it's the Baker's Twine. Um, and I am going to weave it in and out of the hole and then hot glue it to the back. And basically I'm making a garland that says risen, but it is very simple garland. Um, it's not going to be anything more than the crosses. <laughs> Um, it's the first time I make garland. I may make another one this year and make it a little more substantial. But for this one, I am taking some more of my plaster chalk paint and I am going around all of the crosses and doing a uh, dry brushing which I should have done before I put the letters on, but I didn't, so I just wiped the letters off. And that's it for this one. Very simple, very elegant. I love it. Let me know what you think. For this next project, I have this chalkboard decor piece from Target Dollar Spot and this transfer from Chalk Couture. I am no longer a Chalk Couture designer, but I will have a link to my designer down below. If you have any questions or are interested, please don't hesitate to reach out to Teresa. She's fantastic. So I'm using wisteria, I'm using, I believe, eucalyptus and some bright white, and I am just going to cover everything and then the great reveal. Then I'm gonna take some of this ribbon that I got from Michael's, I believe, and I make like a stack of like five or six, maybe four. I don't know. <laughs> but I make a stack of loops and that's what I'm using for my bow. And I, again, am going to cover up the jute before I hot glue the bow. I am also taking some of these purple lilies that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just added those under the bow. And then I end up taking a couple of leaves that I had kind of laying around. And I add those just under the bow. And then add one more of the lilies to kind of bring it all together and here it is I think it's beautiful let me know what you guys think for this next piece I have this sign from the Dollar Tree and that bunny I just took off that's the one that I use to um with the fence where I put the Tim Holtz paper all over it. Okay. I covered this sign, the back of this sign with some pink and then went over it with some white. And now I have these little bunny butts. I think they're super cute. And so I'm hot gluing them down. And then I uh, cut out the words. Well, I cut out the word bunny and then the S. Now I put the apostrophe, I know I shouldn't have, I did end up taking it off, but I show myself adding it and it's in the reveal. Again, I know it's not supposed to be there and I did take it off. <laughs> okay, now that we get that straight. Um, I have these little wooden bunnies and some of these little eggs that were on a skewer. And I'm just going to cut some of the eggs in half and I'm hot gluing some of the bunnies and some of these eggs right onto this little sign. 
So once I got those all on, I take some more of the craft paper. I apologize for the dogs. And I am covering the back to give it a more finished look. Then I'm taking my zip sander to um, just get the excess paper off. Put the hanger back on and that's it. I think this is super adorable. Get it? Bunny butts? Oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> I have one of the crates from the Dollar Tree and this wooden plank. I painted them both in the plaster chalk paint and now I am gluing them together and finish painting them. <laughs> um, so now I'm taking this decal that I cut out using my Cricut and then I put one of the shopping bags in the bottom so I wouldn't have to use as much of the um, moss. And I took the, I don't know, the little like greenery pieces on the carrots. They just made it look kind of cheap. So I took those off and then I took some boxwood and I just put them in there. And that's it. I added them to the crate. How adorable is this? Let me know what you think. Now I have these two crates that I got from the Dollar Tree and two um, wood candle holders. I believe those came from Woodpecker's Crafts. Um, so I painted everything in the plaster chalk paint and glued them together. Now I'm just gonna take some more of that moss and I'm going to fill the crates. Then I'm just taking the eggs off of those little skewers that they came on. And I had some that I cut in half for that bunny butts project. <laughs> so I just, put those in these crates and now I'm taking that like I don't know it's like a, it's not fishing net it's like a that lace garden lace stuff I don't know what it's called I'm sorry from Dollar Tree and I put it all around the crates and added my bows that I love so much from Hobby Lobby and I think these are super adorable they were so easy I love them. Let me know what you guys think. Now I have one of these signs from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna take the hanger off the staples out and I just sanded down where the staples were and painted it all with the plaster chalk paint. And then I took some pink um, paint and I just did a very light dry brushing. Now I have these eggs they came from the Dollar Tree they came like this um, I haven't seen them this year but they certainly came like this anyways I think they were from Dollar Tree maybe they were Hoppy Lobby no I think they were Dollar Tree anyway <laughs> so I just cut out the word happy using my Cricut and then I spelled out the word Easter with my eggs. And of course I had to stagger them because the sign wasn't quite long enough, but I think it turned out cute anyway. And then I cut some more of those styrofoam eggs in half to add to this sign. And then I took the little bows that came on the skewers with those little styrofoam eggs. And I'm just hot gluing the um, little bows on the eggs. And then I just took some of that brown craft paper from Dollar Tree and I am just covering the back. It just kind of gives it a more finished look. And take my little finger sander to sand off the excess paper. And that's it for this one. Let me know what you think of that one. So now for this one, I cut out a couple of images from Google. I just kind of Googled them. They popped up. I cut them out. 
now I am taking some of the plastic um, plates from the Dollar Tree. They have like a little bit of a glitter. I don't know if it's inside the plastic itself, but anyway. And then I took one of the trays from the Dollar Tree as well, painted all of those in that plaster chalk paint. And then I took the images and put them inside the plates and then put the plates on the tray and then i'm taking some of this easter ribbon and i'm just making a bow to put on the top at least i think that's where i put it i put it on the side the top side and i did dovetail the ends and kind of tacked it down so it wasn't covering my plates and the images and then I just took more of those um, carrots and I just hot glued those on to the tray as well and da, da, da. oh I think I took some ink yeah that I got from Amazon and I just kind of went around the edges of the tray and the paper and I think this is super adorable. I really, really like this one. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration for the upcoming holiday season. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.